Wow, the rays of hope continue to keep shining with vaccinations, lower case rates, hospitalizations, and now, something that we've all been waiting for, at least that I've been waiting for, and that is Governor Newsom lifting the stay-at-home order because ICU capacity is finally above, or projected to be above, 15%. What this means for downtown Disney? Well, let's discuss it right now. Alrighty guys, so an article from NBC Los Angeles said that today, Monday, the January 25th, Newsom was expected to, and probably by the time this video comes out, he will have announced that the stay-at-home order for all regions in Southern California have been has been list, lifted. So that means everyone's back in their respective tiers. Most likely the purple tier. The purple tier means outdoor dining can come back to LA, Ventura, or LA and Orange counties, which are the only two counties we're going to be talking about today because of Universal City Walk and specifically in this video, Downtown Disney. So, I went to the City Walk yesterday on Sunday to try to film a video, really a Super Nintendo World construction update, which I couldn't get a video of, but then I went into City Walk and it was just so depressing because most of the restaurants are closed because they can't offer outdoor dining. So, it's awesome that that will be back. Now, moving on to Downtown Disney, specifically Buena Vista Street. Buena Vista Street, remember, when it opened, you can walk into Grizzly Peak and Hollywood Land, and all the way up to Avengers Campus because they're offering outdoor dining at Carthay Circle, Smoke Jumpers Grill, and Award Wieners. But then the stay at home order came in December, and then all of a sudden that all changed and the boundaries of California Adventure shrank. All of a sudden, only retail was available, and of course, the capacity was limited to like 20% or so. So there really wasn't much to do in, on Buena Vista Street in downtown Disney in general. Um, and they even started offering like outdoor vending areas um, because to kind of replace the outdoor dining and for some, you know, to add more capacity for the shopping. I hope they'll keep that. But also remember before a stay-at-home order was initiated that the gate, the new little performance space or flex space, by Avengers Campus were, was open with ODV cards and that was open for maybe like a week or less and of course then it was closed because the outdoor dining order so now if this order has been lifted I'd expect as soon as this weekend or earlier that outdoor dining will, will, will return to downtown Disney definitely the Disney owned restaurants and maybe third party restaurants later on maybe like next week because they have to call everyone back and stuff and I expect the borders of California Adventure to be expanded once again to the end of Grizzly Peak, or the Grizzly Peak Airfield, uh, Hollywood Award Wing. That one's the, the, but the borders are expanded there already. But I'd expect outdoor dining, outdoor dining, of course, by Mickey's Philharmonic Magic to return by uh, for award winners. And I expect the borders on the northern side or I guess, southern side. To be expanded again to allow that flex space to open for the ODV carts and taking the view of Avengers Campus. But then remember, before all this, there was rumors of Disney expanding the borders to Pacific Wharf. As Pacific Wharf was is just there's no rides; it's just a whole bunch of dining. So. That'll be very, very interesting to see if they do, and this would be a perfect opportunity to do, even if they don't do it when they first res um, first respond, or first, op first open up, but um, I expect definitely in February, especially for the President's Day weekend, that's a long weekend, I expect them to open up the borders all the way over there to try to cash in on that business. And lastly, of course, this puts us on back into the tiers back in the purple tier and of course i have to mention that currently the parks are able to open up in the yellow tier the cases continue to go down like they are and hospitalizations keep dropping like they are we'll see how fast we can get to the orange tier or red and orange tier in fact maybe we're close right now i don't know we'll probably see um i'm sure that the california tier map will be back tomorrow or today uh it gets updated again every tuesday so we'll see where la and Orange counties are and see how close 
they are to the orange chair because if they're close to the orange chair now then maybe just maybe if they things get better we can be or sorry the red tier maybe we can be in the orange tier and maybe yellow tier uh by march april i mean i don't know we'll see it takes three weeks to change from one tier to another tier so on that march april time frame of things on like best case scenario worst case scenario summertime and even better scenario if uh Disney Universal and the parks can really push the opening to the orange tier. Can kind of convince Mr. Newsom to go into the orange tier, which makes at least it's a compromise for everybody. But what do you guys think of this good news? I know some of you have think the stay-at-home order should have been there in the first place, but it's nonetheless great news and more rays of hope. And uh, we're we're moving towards an eventual reopening, and I'm super excited. Let me know what you, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, subscribe for more theme park updates and uh, every uh, this will keep will stay on touch with this story of course like this video if you like this video uh press the thumbs up button as always have a fantastic fantastic start to your week